Well, good morning. So, uh, I keep getting back to this kind of thing a lot later than I actually intend. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, today I'm going to be recording three or four videos. So, this is, um, this is a thing. Since, uh, some, uh, packets just dropped, as it were. Uh, today I'm probably going to be doing the next uh, three articles of the Idaho Republican Platform, Articles 4, 5, and 6, if I remember the PDF correctly. Uh, so, um, I, and uh, yeah, I'll be doing some other stuff in a bit. Uh, I'm back in the uniform, and let's see if I can... Okay, there we are. Well... Let's let's get started with this one. So um, I guess I should um, address first why agriculture is even in the platform because well of because of Idaho. This remember we are the Idaho Republican Party, so that we have a platform on uh, platform mentioning a lot of things having to do with Idaho, and now agriculture goes to. We, the very beginnings of the state when it was just a territory. So, starting with that, Article 4, a Agriculture. The Idaho Republican Party believes the strong and viable agriculture industry is one of the most important, important cornerstones in the foundation of our state, national, and global economy and security. And uh, those last few words there, really important because, well, if we're not growing the food, are we really in control? Are we, um, are we stable? Are we secure? Are we even really making money anymore? <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so that, that, that's a thing. Uh, section one, we believe it. Ah, oh, this thing scrolls way too weirdly. We believe that agriculture education and awareness is vital to creating and maintaining a strong and vital agriculture industry. Well, that one's kind of a no-brainer. Kind of doesn't feel like that sometimes in the state house, but that one's a no-brainer. I mean, how are we going to continue this? One of the big things that Idaho is good at, how are we going to continue that if people don't even know all that much about it? So, section one, there you go. Section two, we believe, uh, let's see, I'm going to make sure, yep, I'm um, still, oh, ah, dead air here. Uh, okay, we believe Idaho's farmers and ranchers should be able to free, compete freely and trade fairly in foreign markets. We recognize the primary function of government in agriculture should be service, research, and the promotion of markets. We oppose the use of an embargo of, of ag I'm going to start that one again. We oppose the use of an embargo of agriculture products as an instrument of foreign policy. And that one just goes back to what's the proper role of government? Well, beaten to, de beaten to death that horse as far as uh, the Republican view on exactly that. Uh, governments should be facilitating or facilitating or just simply getting out of the way of any economic activity and one of the primary economic activities is of course agriculture agriculture and general ranching and general farming that that kind of thing. So this is actually pretty bland Republican. This isn't even any anything scraping past extremists. This is almost centrist, at least what those terms actually mean. Um, so, going right down here to section three, we, we recognize that water is vital to Idaho agriculture and other industries. We believe modification of Idaho's historic water laws must be considered with extreme caution. Federal government shall not infringe upon state jurisdiction over Idaho water. That's touching on a lot of things, but um, I don't know exactly how aware of um, historical context the, um, the viewer is. 
here. But uh, wars have started over water rights. No, like I don't. I don't mean like big fights or anything. No, I mean literal wars. So this kind of thing can naturally be a contentious thing. I mean, it's how not only how people survive, but how uh, industries survive, and not just agriculture, but you know, water also has um, a lot to do with other industries as well. So, um, of course, now the water, the way that water rights are supposed to work, especially how the framers of the Constitution um, thought it, was, well, the federal government is not necessarily supposed to have any much to do with the actual water rights and those kinds of matters. And as we expanded out west, well, that was supposed to be it as well, but, you know, of course, we have this concept called federal land and um, how a lot of the rules were bent with some of the, st um, forming some of the states out here and just a lot of not so good history on that front. And not only that, but um, the Tenth Amendment is a thing that actually exists. And while that doesn't sp speak specifically to the last sentence there, it does give the idea that, hey, the, f the federal government shouldn't necessarily be by default the one in control. The states should be the ones in control. So there we go with that. Now, section four, pretty simple. We endorse the preservation and strengthening of the family farm unit as the foundation of agriculture and one of the basic strengths of this nation. Now, as a guy living in Boise, Idaho, I, don't necess I wouldn't necessarily have... Um, whole lot to actually say about that. However, especially through my mother's side of the family, I am in fact related to a lot of farmers and ranchers and so forth, and I do hear about this kind of thing from time to time, and not only that, but um, my, dad's side of the my dad's side of the family is very much um, part, uh, partial to uh, a lot of southern Idaho, a lot of so I'm related to like half of the population of southern Idaho, especially if you were here before the 90s. Um, so, you know, I'm related one way or another. Uh, and uh, so I, I actually do have some idea as far as a lot of the um, policies. And the thing is, is that uh, having corporate farms is a completely legit and fine thing to do. However, we should not be edging out the, uh, I don't think they actually refer to it as subsistence farming anymore, but uh, just simply farms that are owned by like actual families and that's how they, that's the whole mode of operation for what they do. Uh, so we shouldn't be barring Economic activities such as like the corporate farmer, the dairy, or things like that. But we should be putting priority on the family farm kind of kind of thing. At least if we are to survive as a state as we know it. So uh, moving right down the water down to water, uh, because I literally just mentioned it. Um, Article 5, Water. The Idaho Republican Party recognizes the critical importance of water to this state. We will aggressively defend Idaho's right to appropriate, to appropriate and manage water within its own borders without interference from the federal government. That sounds like a statement of war, but because, again, fighting over water is literally how wars start. I mean, that's been the way since before humans were human. Allegedly, um, but also, uh, but really, it's not so much of a, as a threat, but more of a warning. Like, hey, we should be the ones that are handling the water issues in the state. You know, Idahoans should absolutely be managing Idahoan affairs, and one of those big affairs is, of course, water. Uh, we, uh, section one, we support the continued federal and state legislation to prevent interbasin transfer of 
Idaho's water to other areas. It's our water. It's ours. We should be doing with it as we wish. Within reason, wish it should be serving Idaho. Uh, section two. Uh, we encourage policies that will. <clears throat> section two. We encourage policies that will more fully use and develop our water while supporting the Idaho state law of prior appropriation based on the principle of first in time is first in right for the benefit of all Idahoans. Well, yeah, if you got there, if you got the water right first, you should absolutely have right of first refusal. You know, someone to come, you know, someone coming along later and using and taking and using your water. Well, that's literally taking away of your right, your stuff, your property, and your livelihood. So that might sound a little bit aggressive, but you know what? If you leave people alone, generally they leave you alone. And that is, that is a... I can understand how somebody might view that as extreme, but it really isn't. See, section three here, as soon as this thing will scroll correctly. Uh, we believe that safeguards exist to protect Idaho scenic and recreational rivers without creating more restrictions or regulations on Idaho's river system. I don't see why this is um, really unreasonable, but you know what? Have a, have a go at the comments if you think otherwise. I mean, let's have that discussion. But this right here... That is the Republican standard. Section 4, we call upon the federal government to cease and desist from calling on further water for flow augmentation for fish, fish conservation until the benefit of this use has been proven by unequivocal, thorough scientific research. Further, Idaho waters can only be approved for out-of-state use by legislative action by the state of Idaho from willing sellers through established rental pools. So, yeah, it should be according to our rules, according to our consent, through people who actually own the water rights. Any idea to the contrary is an inherently un-Republican and un-Idahoan, quite frankly un-American uh, idea. So, screw, scrolling down, section 5. We support increased ret retention of Idaho water through recharge and acquisition of new reservoir sites. Well, yeah, I mean, if we want, if there's more water to be had inside of Idaho through some reasonable means, of course. Don't see why that would be an issue. Uh, section 6, we support the quality of private life and economic stability of Idaho families, communities, and industries, and oppose removal or breaching of existing dams. I know that there was a lot of fight about that in the 90s, so that's probably that's probably the era in which Section 6, six comes from. But that doesn't make it any less true now. Now, if you have a different idea, again, let's talk about it. But be aware that this is the standard of what a, re what a Republican idea is. Section 7, we support all legal opposition to any and all efforts to assert Idaho sovereignty over water within our Idaho borders. Further, we support the Attorney General in defending the state's position on these and all other water issues and support the state legislature in continuing to adequately fund the Idaho Constitutional Defense Fund. Yeah, some people have been trying to come after Idaho for Idaho's water. And don't pretend that it's anything else. No, that is Idaho's water. And so, of course, we would support all legal opposition to taking of Idaho stuff. That's a pretty basic concept. Now, Article 6. National... I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I need to clean my glasses. There is an actual smudge, like, right there. Natural <laughs> resources and environment. Oh, this is a bit of a theme today. Okay, the Idaho Republican Party recognizes that the beautiful and fruitful land that we have been, 
been given by God, our Creator, must be properly cared for to ensure that its rich blessings will continue to be enjoyed for generations to come. And this sounds a lot different from what the character of a Republican is. But you know what? If you've got a bit of ground, you pro and you're not just for outright exploitation of it, but rather f for your uses, you probably want to be keeping up the land. You know, it's not, it's not that you're just simply taking everything out of it, but rather you want to, you want to keep it going because you want it to, you want it to stay nice, for lack of better words, for a while. Because, you know, you're not always going to be around, you're around, but your kids are, and their kids, and so forth. And not only that, but, you know, you have a lot of people you're friendly with, you want, you want it to be around for too, so of course. Section, ah, uh, this thing does not scroll consistently, and so, yeah, anyway. Section 1, we believe it is ultimately the individual's responsibility to act as stewards of their environment. Not the environment, their environment. Big difference. Uh, the quality of our nat natural environment should be protected and enhanced while allowing reasonable orderly growth with emphasis on multiple uses, local control, and min minimal government regulation. I don't see anything that would really deviate from any truly Republican ideas there. Moving on. We believe the administration of federal environmental policy must be modified. These policies must give equal consideration to potential human suffering caused by the restriction or elimination of basic human needs such as jobs, energy, and overall quality. Oh, it jumps, it jumps down. Overall quality of life. We support federal and state measures to reestablish the primacy of state government for implementation of environmental policies. Well, yeah, the, the, the federal government should be weaker in, in these cases. The state government should be stronger. And not only that, but we should be the ones taking care of it because uh, we don't like stepping on our own citizens. Now, apparently the federal government loves stepping on its citizens. Come at me, bro, on that one. <sighs> but, of course, if you have a different idea, let's talk about it. Uh, we discourage international regulations on industry which attempt to halt production of certain industrial byproducts. Instead, we encourage citizens to adopt the buying habits that, are pro that promote a clean earth. Yeah, this touches on um, stereotype promulgated a lot in the late 70s through the 80s and 90s and a little bit into the aughts where... Republicans are the one that are just destroying the earth and trashing everything and exploiting and basically making everything dirty. Now, that is absolutely not the case. Never has been, never, you know, is not and never will be. I mean, plus, I think it would stand to reason that the person who is actually on the ground doing the work would have a better idea on how to you know, how to keep everything up, <laughs> uh, for, for lack of better words. Uh, section 4, we recognize Idaho's need for the utilization of natural resources for Idaho's economic growth and for the benefit of all Idahoans. The dimensions and boundaries of our wilderness area should be determined by Idahoans. The remaining road less... I think there's a typo in here. The remaining roadless areas should be released for multiple uses. Well... That's just a continuation of everything we've been talking about so far. You know, it's our land. We should use it how we see fit. The government should not be telling us otherwise. Section 4. Oh, wait, wait. I skipped. <laughs> oh, I started. Uh, the, the, see, the problem here is, is that this, this mouse I have right now, it's not scrolling consistently. Section 5, we advocate congressional action to limit presidential authority in creating or expanding national parks and, monu and monuments pursuant to the Antiquities Act. Well, the Nash this gets on uh, an issue that's been happening in recent decades where um, uh, 
especially the last, well, at least two of the last three presidents, you know, I think you know which ones, uh, where uh, the national parks and things of that nature were established for you for things quite different from what uh, they're being used for now. And the um, presidential and uh, federal authority is being gross, grossly extended towards um, expanding parks to freeze out uses of said land. Now, the, now as, an, as a Republican, you would absolutely be against this for a whole host of reasons, which is touched on right there. Um, current Congress should absolutely be um, looking to restrict the presidential and, quite frankly, federal authority over such things. Uh, section 6, we support the concept of forest health because it promotes long-term land use and other livestock, and, you know, I'm going to start that one again. Uh, Section 6, we support the concept of forest health because it promotes long-term land use, including livestock grazing, timber, wildlife, improved air quality, recreation, mining, and all other beneficial forest uses for the people of Idaho. Um, what they're getting at there is that um, a lot of times uh, the management of forests, especially the ones here in Idaho, um, not going well, and they've been um, mismanaged to the point where the fire seasons, as they're referred to, uh, they keep getting worse and worse over the year, and some like to blame this on global warming or climate change or whatever the invoked term is, but the evidence, especially with the literal evidence on the ground, more points towards just simple mismanagement of it. And the thing is, is that nature, by and large, mostly takes care of, care of itself, though. We've been operating under a different idea for so long that nature is reacting in quite an adverse way, and that includes really, really, <laughs> really, really bad fire seasons that extend into... There. See, the thing is, is that fire seasons not only are getting worse, but they're getting longer. They're, ex they're extending like way into the fall now. And that's kind of a problem for a lot of um, college students and, um, and whatnot, where, you know, after they did this firefighting job, you know, they want to come back to school. Well, can't if firefighting season is going on and we still have such and such ridge fire still going on or what have you. You know, it's um Anyway. Kind of got off on a tangent there. <laughs> uh, last one. I forgot where I started. So was four, five. Okay, yeah. So this is this is where I'm going to stop for now. Um, the section seven. We encourage the state of Idaho to seek authority to oversee the utilization of national resources on federal lands within the state. Well, yeah, it's our stuff. We should be in charge of it. Now, I uh, see. How long have I been? Uh, I've been recording for a healthy amount of time. All right. Well, I'll transition back here for a moment. Um, so this is still just mostly really bland Republican stuff. This isn't even any of the far right or, you know, extreme, you know, far extreme conservative kind of thing. No, it, it's not any of that at all. I mean, you're seeing, you saw the words on the page just the same as I do. This is a... Uh, Actually, it's somewhat milk toasted some of this, except for that one part where it, you, 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 anyway, um, yeah. So uh, I'll probably I'll be doing at least two more articles uh, in a platform video sometime soon. I'm hoping that it doesn't take 12 days to get back to this again because I want to have the platform done by the time I go to Chalice. And as far as the other videos I'm doing today, well, I will talk about them when I get to them. I'm going to stop recording now, and you all have a good day.